Hey guys, it's Betty, and welcome back to part 25 of the Fan Art Feb series. And I can't believe we're nearly at the end now. There's only three days left, and yeah, it's just kind of been crazy and mad. And having a convention tomorrow is uh, kind of made it even worse. <laughs> but for today's video, I'm doing Sailor Moon. This was actually a request from Poodle Paws 44, I think. And I used to love watching Sailor Moon, so I was really excited to jump at the chance to do this. And I really wanted to do it in watercolours and try and draw her in my style. So it's kind of a mix between the old Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon Crystal, which I've not actually seen Sailor Moon Crystal. It's, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not interested. I was quite happy with how the old one was, even, I know the animation wasn't amazing or anything, but at that time I suppose it, it was fine, so... Yeah, I, I, I liked it as it was. I might get around to watching it at some point, but for now, I'm, I'm quite happy to just stick with my memories of the old one. But to start with, I actually used some masking fluid in the background to do kind of just some like little spots and circles, because I was thinking that could help uh, do a galaxy sort of thing. But I ended up picking all of that off and painting over it, because I really didn't like how it turned out. But it all worked out in the end. And this is actually the first time I've tried to do a full galaxy thing in a background and I'm sort of happy with it. I kind of wish I had a brighter pink and a brighter teal in my watercolour set so that's definitely some colours I'm going to start looking out for. But It still turned out okay and especially after I went in with my pencil crayons and my white gel pen at the end it definitely brought it all together. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I think it's one of my favourites so far from Fan Art Feb. But for today's video, I was thinking of talking about what art actually means to me. Because I suppose art is something different for everyone. I mean, a lot of people use it for different things. Sometimes they just like to draw. For some people, it's a pastime or just a hobby. And that's it did start out as a hobby for me. Because I wasn't sure I was going to go straight into doing art full time and to be honest I didn't even think I'd get so lucky having an amazing husband that would support me so I can stay at home and do art all the time. I know at some point I'm gonna have to go and get a job but I really don't mind going back to work if it means helping pay the bills and I'll do art whenever I can so you gotta pay the bills before you put what you want to do first sometimes but that's just how life is. But for me art after I decided I wanted to stick with it, especially in my teenage years, I used to use it as an emotional crutch because I had a lot of stuff going on at home and a lot of the time I wasn't happy. I got bullied a lot at school as well, so I ended up just drawing just to close myself away and every time I did a drawing it made me feel better and it kind of, some of them would have been because I was angry, they'd show anger, which it just helped me vent instead of, because I did go through a really angry stage at school and it, it wasn't good at all. But I got past it because I could draw and vent all of my feelings out. And then that it just started to become an outlet for everything for me. So then I could start to get through daily life because I'd set, off, set aside that time where I shut myself away and just draw whatever came to mind and like when I was at school in class because I always tended to finish my work quite early because I'm quite a fast worker and I'd just sit and doodle instead and it would just take my mind off all the idiots in the class that were trying to distract me or bully me or anything like that I could just block them out because when I concentrate I'm like oblivious to everything that goes around me you can even ask my husband I was terrible for reading like that as well when I first met him because we met at um, work on my break he'd be in the crew room like the break room with me and I'd sit there reading and he'd like, ask me questions and I thought I'd replied but I hadn't so yeah that's I have some serious concentration skills when I want them kind of losing that now because I can't concentrate that hard unless someone else is at home with me because of having a child at home but if I really want to I can buckle down and block everything out which I suppose isn't always good but it works but after figuring out that it was my emotional outlet and like a little crutch for me, if I didn't have my art, I'd have been, I'd have fell to pieces to be honest, especially during school years. 
but it then started just to become an expression of me like the feelings I had at the time or the likes like stuff that I was enjoying at the time as well I'd draw stuff to do with that so it be, it just started to become me and that was when everything started to fall into place it's like no I want to do art I want to go to school and do art classes and stuff like that and I still need to do my art school experience video which I will I promise I did record it but the sound audio the audio quality was absolutely rubbish and it was really dark so I need to redo that one but it started to help me organize my thoughts as well so actually doing art helped me get better with time management because I'd start to figure things out I was like oh it would take me this long to do a drawing like this sometimes it'd go a bit over but then I'd be like well I'll just get like this bit of homework done first and then I know I've got all night to draw so it pushed me instead of like all the other kids my age wanted to go out with their friends and everything I mean I wanted to do that as well I had well one big like huge friend who's she's still my best friend now as well so I'd go out with her but we'd sit and draw together so it was kind of like we'd draw little stories and everything so it started to bring me closer to other people as well and especially when I got to college I made some of my best friends at college so art has been a very very big part of my life and helped me get through a lot of stuff so as well as being a crutch for me and an outlet it's helped me relax and calm down as a person because when I tell people how I used to be at school to how I am now they're like no I don't believe you you're completely different I mean I was just telling my driving instructor the other day that I used to be such an angry child and like it was at the point where I would punch walls and everything and then now it's like but you seem like such a calm person and you got like you're so level-headed I'm like well, yeah that's how it's got to now but that's thanks to art because it's helped me calm down so I wouldn't be who I am now without art if you get what I mean so I'm actually really grateful that my mum got me into art in the first place but the fact art was the one thing I never lost my temper with even though I knew my drawings weren't amazing to start with and I knew I had to put work into practice but it gave me something to work towards so I nev I've never lost my temper I've never lost interest in it and it's just gave me a constant purpose to keep moving forward so I think that's what art is to me it's just something to help me keep going as well as yeah I love improving on stuff and sharing my artwork with everybody but mainly it's something even if I didn't share it online it's something I would never give up so it, it means a lot to me it's a big part of me uh, we're coming up to the end of the video now so I hope that little bit of insight was nice to hear I guess but yeah i hope you enjoy the artwork and the video and thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow for the next video bye